What's up, Fishaholics? And today is an absolutely beautiful day here in Cape Cod. And I'm just leaving the on the water office right now for my lunch. And I'm actually going to go out with a few guys from on the water. And uh, we're going to hit this small little pond that's up the road. I've only been there one other time, caught a few, you know, a few yellow perch out of it. And I'm going to give it a shot today and see what happens. There's a herring run in this small little pond that we're going to fish. And supposedly there's some big bass in it. You know, that's what a lot of the on the water guys have been telling me that there's a lot of big bass in there. But the, the pond's been off a little bit. You know, it hasn't been producing a lot of fish. But hopefully today, you know, uh, we'll get into something good. That's a nice one, tree pounder. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> good fish right here. Oh yeah, good, something good. Really good fish. First Cape Cod bass right here. Little finesse shad. Woo! Look at that right there, guys. Really cold fish. Just on that little tiny finesse shad. I'm down here at this little pond. This is my the, first, the second time I've ever been, ever been to this pond. Here with Eddie and Jonah from On the Water Magazine. I feel like a model here. Nice. Beautiful bass right there. You took off and hit your foot? Yeah. That was weird. You. Thanks. Heck yeah, that was my first Cape Cod bass. Feisty little guy. Aw, oh, Jonah just had one too. Alright guys, so it definitely paid off. Coming out for lunch on my first cast. This is only my second time being here. I get my first Cape Cod bass. Nothing better. And basically I was just fishing this little tiny finesse shad and I'm letting it sink all the way down to the bottom. And uh, then I'm kind of just swimming it right up along the, above the bottom. And uh, this is definitely one of my favorite techniques to catch cold water fish hooked up again. Second cast and I'm hooked up again. This is ridiculous right here. This might be a perch. Nice chunky Cape Cod perch. I'm two for two guys, what are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little perch. Ten inch or so. Little tiny uh finesse shad. Do you guys you know I have I have extras if you guys want one. Um or uh, a little grub would work too. Alright guys, let's see if I can go for three for three here. If I catch a four pounder, you guys might switch, right? <laughs> okay. Three for three, let's do it. Three for three. Oh, there he is. Three for three right there. That's a pretty good size purse. It's like 11 inches, 12 inches maybe. This guy really doesn't want to let go of it. See you later, little buddy. This 
So I'm just letting this little jig sink all the way down to the bottom. And uh, today I'm actually using four pound test fluorocarbon because it's been so cold up here, I switched from braid to fluorocarbon so it didn't freeze on the reel. And then I'm using my Berkeley Cherrywood HD five foot six, a little ultralight spinning rod. My favorite little setup here, and this is a Quantum Optics 10 spinning reel, real cheap spinning reel, real cheap setup all, you know, all together. But uh, I would definitely recommend picking up uh, an ultralight little spinning rod for the cold water period. Absolutely my favorite way to catch cold water fish. Ah, oh, that was my first cast, I didn't get a bite. Had a good run, went three for three. Something pretty cool here, guys. This is, I guess, the old herring run for this little pond here. And then the current one is on the other side of the pond, way over there. And uh, supposedly there's some really big bass in here because of the herring run, because the herring come up in here and they can get trapped in here. And I, I guarantee you a lot of the largemouth in here probably gorge on those herring when they come up in here and they probably just get really big and fat. All right guys, so I'm gonna change over to a little tiny grub. Switching out my jig head, putting on a little heavier jig head also because I wanna try and cover a little bit more water. Tie in a little clinch knot. Trying to be kind of quick about this because we don't have much time to really fish. That looks pretty damn good right there. Let's try out the grub. Oh, <laughs> fell. Little perch on the grub. This guy inhaled it. Nah, a little yellow perch. Really? Eddie says this is the size yellow perch you want a live line for a bass. So there's definitely some big bass in here. All right guys, lunch is over and I'm back here at the office. And uh, to tell you the truth, the last 40 minutes or to an hour of fishing that I got today for lunch was probably the best fishing that I've been in since I've been here in Cape Cod. I've only been in Cape Cod here for about two and a half weeks. And uh, you know, it's a big learning experience for me. I'm still trying to figure out a bunch of different bodies of water. I'm still trying to figure out how to catch fish. And it is December, you know, it's the cold water period. So it's not really the best time to, you know, try and catch a lot of fish when you go out. I mean, I've been going out here and there during lunch most of the time, you know, here at On The Water Magazine because that's like the, the best time when I have, you know, available time to get out and go fishing. You know, I work about around, you know, 8 or 9 a.m. till around, you know, 4 or 5 or 6 p.m. And I have been fishing a lot on the weekends, but, you know, it's been a learning experience, like I said. So I've been going out and sometimes catching nothing, or I've been going, to get, going out and catching like one or two fish and nothing really spectacular for me to make a video. And uh, today I wanted to make a video because I've caught my first Cape Cod largemouth bass, caught a few yellow perch. And, um, you know, Eddie caught a little largemouth bass, and uh, that, that was just pretty awesome to get out there and, and catch three fish at a body of water. I've only been to one, you know, once before and catch three fish on three consecutive casts as soon as I got there, even though two of the fish were, you know, two, two little yellow perch. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe, and, you know, hopefully more videos will be coming out. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to be fishing, you know, a lot more in Cape Cod, you know, and making a lot more videos once I start figuring out the water a little bit better. And as well, probably going out to Rhode Island. And, uh, you know, it's almost the holiday season, so I'll probably be heading home to New Jersey soon, hitting Round Valley Reservoir, Lake Pacong, you know, maybe even the Jersey Shore, or, you know, wherever. Probably hitting a bunch of different areas. And, uh, you know, so make sure you subscribe. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live.